What is going on, folks? We back here today on this fine, fine, fine day for some tournament coverage. We got Smogon Tour, the greatest tournament of all time. Smogon Tour playoffs, and we're here today with Lax versus Starfire Scarlet. This is going to be a best of three between the three most recent generations of OU. So that would be Gen 9, Gen 8, and Gen 7. I used to upload this tournament a lot back when I used to play, and I've uploaded uh, the playoffs many times, including just last season and the season before. But yup, <coughs> hopefully we can get a good best of three. Got my boy CTC here to narrate this with me. And yeah, Hello. it looks like right now they're starting off with Generation 9 OU. So this is one of the matches in the top 16 there should be eight matches i think this is actually the tiebreaker so the winner this is a tiebreaker this, to get number 16. this is the tiebreaker to get in as the 16th seed so these guys haven't even in made NBA the playoffs terms, yet. yeah in nba terms they're playing to be who to, to see who gets to be jimmy butler oh yeah it's over <laughs> <laughs> they don't want that they don't want that smoke <laughs> they don't want to run into that after this round mm -mm. we're looking at the matchup here we can see that starfire scarlet has a pretty strong team Offensive wise, and he got up the rocks, I guess, so that's good. Also, great non over predict. <coughs> yeah, just to stay in and keep on darting. Okay, goes to this as he SD. Even though it was obviously bad. This is a pretty you know? free SD, because uh, he's going to want to soak the T spike up with Glim. Mm -hmm. This Valiant's kind of crazy. What is uh, it, what is Legs going to do versus this? This looks pretty tough, Agency. He would have to go. Okay, on liquidation, turns fairy. Red carded out. Oh, that's actually great. That's actually he great. Oh, out. look what he got. Whoa. That's got to be the most high value turn in the Mon's history. I've, I have not seen a turn <laughs> have that much value. I have not seen a more goob value turn of all time, dude. Oh, Are you mom. kidding me? Into I mean, the crit is huge, but... Oh, nice sucker punch. Oh, he got the crit. Yeah. That, didn't even go. Yeah, that shit probably didn't kill. Well, oh, you don't know his crit, item. You know? Maybe his glasses and it killed. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe. See, if I it don't didn't know, crit, then if it didn't crit, then technically it was better for I'm uh what's his name? Better Starfire Scarlet for sure, for Starfire sure. Scarlet. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. So from what I can tell though, Lex is definitely in a more favorable position. Cause Gambit's dead, right? The spin here is pretty free. And then Starfire has to go with the Iron Moth sweep, which definitely isn't out of the question. Iron Moth looks very good. Iron Moth kind of fucking goobs this team, except there's a Ting Lu. You gotta, you gotta chip the Lu, yeah. And he kind of doesn't have anything to do that besides pull. Well, he could chip it with the... No, he, he can never go Lu on pull. Just sack somebody else to pull. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, keep Lu at 100%, because if it's grass, it's good night, Mr. Tokyo. Okay. Good night, Mr. Tokyo. Yeah. We see Tusk yeah. come in and go for headlong rush. Is this a scarf Tusk? Perhaps. Uh, perhaps. I feel or like I feel like it is it. looking at the team. Mm. What do you think? I feel like it too, cause no eject. I think oh, it's scarf. wait a minute. I think it's scarf. Yo, this moth about to get blown back. This moth about to get blown back. There's no Terra besides Terra Grass that can save this. He's not Terra yeah. Grass. Whatever. Here. If he Terra Grass is here. Then I go pull and start, you know, Zen headbutting everybody. <laughs> I mean, psychic man. Dude, I'm, I'm confused. Unresisted. Does he really not think it's Scarf Tusk? This is a Scarf ass Tusk. He's gonna, he's gonna turn grass. This, and is, take a, half. this is a one and scarf. Psychic Fang, Psychic Fang, Psychic Fang. Yeah, dude. Psychic. Yo, you think it's Psychic Fang Band Pult? Oh, it is. It's it's uh it's banded. So it's banded, yeah. hopefully it's Psychic Fangs. If we are running yeah. the the base lord patented Psychic Fangs Pult, hard. it's gonna do a goober sweep. Okay, he's not Scarf. Wait, what? What? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck just happened? Okay, he wants his Tusk to bulk up and start sweeping. So he wasn't Scarf, but... Personally, I would've just gone for a fire dance and won the game. Oh, Scar... Okay, so Scarlet thought that, uh... Yeah. That Lou was coming in. That's why he doubled the Tusk. Yeah, but even if Lou, dude. I guess. That, oh, what if this is taunt? This dude, is and no, it's, over. it's not taunt. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be that shiesty set with the double one twenty base power stabs. Wait, you think, it, dude? How can you be bulk up booster speed? That's not dude, real. PC coming off a three hundred attack. So you think that this doesn't have spin? That's what I think. Yeah. Oh, dude, look what he turned into. Dude, it's goobed. Oh, what the balls? You bulk up again as Tusk, right? I think he should have bulked up again. 
he I think he was scared of Bray Bird Chip. Cause now a fucking Tusk kills you. Actually you bulk up on Tusk and you win for sure, right? Maybe. Uh because at plus two your CC is gonna fry Tusk, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so if this is not Scarf Tusk, then it's fucking uh Mate, then it's it's uh banned. <laughs> it, it, oh, dude, that bitch is not banded. <laughs> oh, AV. It could be AV. It could be AV. Certainly could be AV. But AV with a Lou is like overkill. Right? I don't know. Lose lose situation. Lose lose situation. <laughs> well said. You know, you're a smart motherfucker. What are we thinking? Alright. Well, I'm thinking I go to my balloon gold. <laughs> okay. Except it's not. It's probably not balloon. Um, I'm thinking. It depends on this tusk yeah, set, but it, you got Okay, so he sacks this. No. Wait, why is he sacking this? Moth? He wants oh, another oh, defense cause drop. Moth is not booster. Because Moth is not booster, so it dies to Psychic Fangs. It needs Dude, a, Psychic need... Fangs sweeps everybody. Trust me. He knows what he's doing. Wait, what? It, yeah. Oh, he's getting more drops. Getting he more needs drops. drops for his tusk to kill. Yeah, yeah. That was all. That all made sense. Dude, this, is, sure. this is AV then. It, it's not banded, because otherwise he could have gone Dude, the Psychic it, Fangs right? part really going to win? Yeah, it's gonna win. Maybe. I mean, he has his own pulp that can just Shadow Ball X2. You can't Psychic Fangs that. He goes for bulk up here, which is a nice play. That's a nice play. Yeah. It's over. Oh, no. He's minus one defense. It was Scarf. So then why did he switch out on the Moth? Wait, what? So those were two speed ties, is what he's saying in the chat. Yeah. Wait, so then why didn't he stay in on the moth, right? I would have for sure stayed in on the moth. Yeah, because if he, if he there's no there's this, no Terra that is booster yeah. plus that you can li that can live. Because if he's Terra uh, grass, I fucking psychic fangs after. Yeah. Also, if he Terra's, that's a, still a win for you. Exactly, dude. Yeah. He should have just. And he's stayed not in. doing it because I have Lou. Yo. So. You see this mm. buck up fight? I told you Terra fight for the Rotoms. I told you. <laughs> Looks like yeah. it came in handy here. <laughs> Did say that you did say that, but this whole team is ground in fight week. True, and I guess the gold was never balloon. It wasn't scarf, so it was probably cloak or specs or some shit. I don't know. Damn, wow. that was pretty. Ins that was the fastest game of all time. Thirteen turns. What the hell? That shit was so fast. So Gen Nine game ends extremely quickly. Wow. Yeah, this is an interesting team, an interesting set. Also. SD Zen Valiant to ch to chip if not cripple the um, Amoongus for this guy. I see the thinking. I see the thought. This Glim has it. defense, right? To take only 55 from that. Uh, it's got like max HP. Max or HP or something, right? Because I thought the Val was gonna turn Water type and liquidate it, but that wouldn't even have killed. I think judging by Zen damage, from like it wouldn't have killed. Thirty years ago, if you turn Water, liquidation still decent. The streets know about that one. All right, it looks like it's a, uh, yeah. Okay, what do you think is next? Gen seven? I think, oh, it's gen eight. They're playing right now. Okay, star, okay, okay, okay. So Starfire Scarlet, who awesome I should say creep. is actually oh, oh, oh. agency member AC2B. Shout out to Gave me a lot of teams you, in the past. Yeah. Good to see the growth. When you bring offense, shit happens. Okay, so from what I can tell, Mm, Moltres is definitely the biggest threat, but Grassy plus uh, plus Heatran can go brazy, right? Also, mm, I don't know. Grassy is like a double-edged sword here. Look how good Grassy terrain is for the Scarlet team. You see that? Uh, shit heals up like everybody and supports everybody. Like, I've never seen Rilla support another team so well. He's got to get rid of that Feeny. Once Feeny dies, then it can be won pretty easily, I think. I'm trying to see, because Pex technically walls a bunch of guys. That's what I'm thinking, but you got to get rid of that dumbass Feeny. I think that Feeny's Whirlpool or some shit. Yeah, but you know they break for each other. Feeny's definitely a Trapper Breaker set. Okay, which means that the card is probably Scarf, I think. Lando Defog, Tran, yep, Tran Rocks, Balloon, Rock, Balloon Rocks, probably. Yeah. Oh, maybe it is offensive. This what? guy. Maybe all, all our predictions are wrong, and he's just max offense, everybody. Yeah, he's literally Scarf. All right. Well, that's a good trade for Lex, I think. Yeah, that's this, pretty good. This being Scarf is bad. That means that <laughs> Chomp and uh, Pex Wallet. <laughs> Forever. Yeah.
Honestly, I'm going for Hurricane here. But that's just me. Well, he's predicting the Chomp, chomp or Chomp or um What do you even do with Chomp? You go to Feeny? Chomp right? or Rilla are the only two momentum. No, Rilla is crazy. You don't want to take all that forty percent for no reason. Not forty percent. It's it's first of all it's gonna be lefties on this type of build. So it's gonna oh, be yeah, it is. It's taking like twenty eight percent. And then lefties into rain. You know, also it positions yourself better if they go to Feeny for some reason, predicting for Chomp. For sure, for sure. I mean, the Chomp, chomp is, the Chomp is also a crazy threat with just Toxic EQ. But it depends on that uh, Moltres too. Because I think that Moltres is going to end up winning if it's rest. Yeah. Like really Chomp is a big-ass threat. Really that's why quickly. his best double is Feeny. Okay. So if you go, if he goes Feeny and you go Rillaboom here, that's Goober momentum. But, you know, only someone like me can make this. this I'm going to be honest. Too. I'm going to be honest. We caught that on video. We caught you. That on video. We caught you caught reading video. both players' complete brains. Yup, and now we got a chipped real now, now he's set behind by. Uh, nah, you're shysty for that one. Well played, well played, sir. Well, now you double in your Rilla. I mean, you. Well, I'd honestly attack with my Feeny because no one glides here, right? Okay. Mm, good knock, good knock. Oh, yeah, losing band, <clears throat> losing band is not good. Not good at all. That's a good knock. That's great yeah. play by Lack. Okay, he's oh, gonna kill this with superpower. Wait, maybe you drain punch all the all the way back. I think these are good trades for Lax, because what the fuck does this even do? Yeah, Rilla's not doing shit in, into bulk. And, and Although Torn, Torn only walls this, so I think he should go Torn. No, 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 this is good. He you think gets this is a good trade? A threat. He, he gets rid of a threat, and he gets Rilla low, so he can sack it, because this is literally a liability into, into like, Moltres. You know, okay, well, it looks like he's ready Moltres. to go. Yeah. So you go hard into Melmetal, right? <clears throat> yeah. First okay. time always. First time he's always. Gonna, this, so this is how it goes. He's going to Nasty Plot, yep. and it's hard into... You know, oh, he went right for Fiery Wrath. Oh, same thing. Oh, he specs. Oh, wait, is it specs? I have no idea. I don't think so, though. Okay, never mind. No, it can't be specs. It's just modest max. You're modest? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. That's good so, chip. So, he wants to plot later and win. Yeah, so he wants to chip and then go yeah. into um, one of the flame body guys. But now he can't really reliably go to the flame body guys because Melmetal can protect, can, you know, all that shit. But yeah. if he nasty plotted just now, that mm -hmm. was a guaranteed flame body <clears throat> Well, Mel is going to go for Tox here, probably. Ooh, okay. Wow, okay. that did a lot. Avoided the fish. Avoided the fish. Avoided the fish. Okay, so he got to remember that he didn't get burned there. So now he's on borrowed time. We know how this. We know how this game works. <clears throat> oh. Good thing he didn't bash. That was a great mid ground thunder punch. You know, he yeah it's... covers everything. Yeah, because bash is it's a fifty fifty. You don't want to get the both burn chances. Chomp into Feeny. Okay. Feeny, great. Okay. Standard gameplay. Uh, Feeny could trap this. This so is a trap for Feeny, I feel yeah. like. Because he probably brought this he in hoping for a Pex or something. Okay. Hard Moon Blast. Madness, Moon Blast, Taunt. Okay. Whirlpool. About to see. I mean, Chomp goes right. back to 71. Yeah. He protects again. Torn can free. get HP back if it wants. Like, there's a lot. Oh, I think. He He's gonna he can stop no, the misty. Can no, go but then you take. I mean, this is actually kind of annoying, but I don't think this has scald or anything. Oh, oh as it's scald. Oh, it's scald. Okay. So surely it's not a what whirlpool. If, what if it was you whirlpool? can't you can't be whirlpool without taunt. I also thought what if it was whirlpool. Wh whirlpool taunt nature nature's madness. Whatever. This blast. is looking like a good situation. Uh, trend knocked off. Chomp yeah. comes in here. Has its leftovers going back to full. You just EQ. Yep. <clears throat> See, this is a tier where even if he didn't make that Rilla double, it doesn't matter. His team is fat enough where Gen 8 is the best Gen ever. Protect, protect, protect. protect. Yeah. We back to it, baby. Protect, protect, protect. Grassy terrain. Damn, back knock to off Pex fucking goop 6-0s this team. What is this? 6 0. And terrain is up so that Chomp lives for life. This is crazy. <laughs> this is devastating. Yeah. This is devastating. Yeah, this is funny. Because this team in the in the builder is called. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm a noob goob. <laughs> nah, noob goob is really a crazy name. <laughs> the noob goob that goobs. Noob. I have this team called as like boring version one or version two or whatever. Yeah. But the best exactly. version of boring is the one with the terrain extender Rilla. That that version of boring goes ham. Extendo. Extendo. Extendo clip Rilla is one of the best sets ever. All right, good job well, healing up is, the Phoenix. This Fini. is not a good jet. This is literally <laughs> like on on metacritic okay the people have on okay, metacritic they have probably, they have spoken and they, they said this, this shit right here pu it should stink P -U. All right, let's this is see. a bottom this is a bottom two tier and it's not two all right so we see heatran taking a lot of damage nice scald crit 
Uh, I think he's still switch, right? In the Garchomp every time? Well, actually, at this point, he can randomly click buttons until he wins via terrain. No, you can choke and lose still into Moltres. You can de- Oh, see? Taunt is nice play so that your Moltres sets up. Mm. Now Lex has to switch. He Let's sacked Rilla, right? He still has Heatran full. Yeah, he can sack Rilla easily here. I don't know if you want to heal this joint. No, no, no. You don't want to- You don't give shit terrain. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't want to heal this and let it live one rock switch in. Tur tur. So what you do is... But you cannot let Moltres get that. Actually, oh, Melmetal you... lives plus two. So... You don't want- You don't want to... Let Pex get trapped. So this is actually a tough play. He try needs to be full. Pex if is fine. Pex is die. fine. You can go Pex back in the chomp. Or you can go... Okay. We'll see now. I don't like that play. I mean, you can... I mean, I guess in his mind, Mel is always a free switch. Oh, it's Boots too. I think this is really? bad for Lex. Or... No, because bash, bash into glide kills. You go hard into basher. Yeah, but he could. He could he's if gonna he hard rats, rats here. then it's very bad. Yeah. Then do you want to go heat train mid ground? Heat train mid? I know rats on boosted did 37. You can do, you can <laughs> do heat train mid ground because you only need one of chomp or heat train to beat Volcarona. You don't need both. Heat train's yeah, not heat good train here. Heat train is a good play here. Yeah, and this is <laughs> definitely boot? double dance. So but you get the. Boot? It's not a, it's not a uh, rest, so it's susceptible to status. status. Exactly. So you go, you go Heechan, and you get to Tox, and he can't get both dances off, and and yeah, not take not Toxic plus an attack. Yeah, he can't win this game. He could, uh, he no, he could, he could with Fiery attack. Wrath. He could with Fiery Wrath. Hex. What Fiery Wrath? Oh, crit. I mean, flinch. Okay. Yeah. Going Torn is a good play as well, because if he nasty plots, you just oh, Toxic. Oh, because he could Toxic. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I forgot yeah, that yeah, Torn had Tox. Great play. Great play. All right, Finny comes in on. Ooh, nice U-turn, nice U-turn. You go Mel, don't you? Oh, that was a god read. Or you don't want to get intimidated by Landers. I think it's fine though. Nah, he, he just gets his regenerator back. You know, get this guy back, and then yeah, I guess taking damage on Mel could be risky for no reason. Yeah, I would say. Mm. Oh, this four attack is garbage. Okay. Taunt, nature, oh, double step. It's a nasty set, man. This is a nasty Feeny. The do nothing classic. The do nothing classic that doesn't even trap him. Okay, goes into this. Well, now you can just go into Mel, right? Protect Chomp. No, oh, protect Chomp. Right, this is even higher value. Forgot about this. Yeah. This is Dunzo here, it's, right? Uh, Feeny's, Feeny's been knocked off. This is yeah, so you just zone. you would just EQ twice on Feeny as well. Yeah. Moon only does 41. Yeah. Damn, this is, dude, this team, this noob goob team, really goobed. <laughs> really goobed. Yeah, really goobed. Gen, <laughs> gen 8 is a nasty, nasty gen. Yeah. The moment he knocked off the band cart, the game Yeah, was, dude, uh, I was uh, like, dude, you're uh, bigger. Uh, you're, you're, <laughs> see, he said this is true SS gaming. The revolting generation. Revolting. Rapido, rapido. This is a, this this a very, very good team. <sighs> no, only versus some noob teams like this. This is a noob creation. This one right here. The the other team, the Moltres team. This is like this is like one mon away from the Poltergeist team. And that team, I think, would have smoked them. I'm just saying. That's what Too I think. Mon. Yeah, the difference. Because the SD Timid Cart Schmixo blows this team away that Lax is using. Actually, no. Poltergeist gets. Scoop by Grassy Terrain Revenge Guy. Doesn't matter. I get 1.5. That's true. <laughs> yeah. And then my Timid Cart X Moltres X Moth I'm, wins. Trust me. I'm, I'm going home with the bag. Mm, Timid you can't, you can't, beat, you can't win versus everybody. And there's a Calm Mind Taunt Feeny in the back too. That team will win versus this one. Oh yeah, because it's a Calm Mind Feeny unlike this Yeah, Feeny, I think Starfire uh, just has shit sets. Like if Feeny was Taunt CM instead of this... A very good chance, cause look how low Rilla is. Very yeah. Yeah, very good chance. And then you you trade one of Moltres or whatever into. He should just have the Poltergeist team from the. Dude, call my Feeny. Oh, actually no, because Mel beats that set. So. Yeah, but Mel has to die beating Poltergeist. Oh, but then yeah, but then you bait the Mel bash and then you go fucking balloon on the flame. Body. Dude, I'm telling you, the Poltergeist team, that shit right here. Mm. Go watch that video if you haven't, folks. The agency's Poltergeist special. You'll know exactly which team I'm talking about. One of the That's greatest of all time. Cinema. One of CTC's That's greatest, cinema. most Scorsese-esque creations of all time. All right, I'm loving this. Uh, I'm loving this patience.
Yeah, I love this gen too. I'm loving this patience. Don't patience worry. pays, bitch. All right, so now what? You just you turn in the mail? Woo! And win in a goob-tastic way, or he wants the maximum. No. I'm telling you, he could click random sequences of buttons at this point. Why is he doing this? He's trying to position himself where he's U-turning out. But why can't he just U-turn and kill it here? Oh, he wants Tornadus to be in when Moltres comes in. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Untaunted. He wants it in untaunted. I figure you could so go he... Mel. Uh, but I guess he doesn't want Landris to like intimidate and then get flinched type shit, maybe? I don't know. I guess this is no, like the most no, safe Mel in his mind. No, Mel is the one mind. way to lose. No, no, Fast Toxic is unlosable because the only way he loses is flinches now or if it misses yeah 90 percent versus 30 percent yeah but you gotta flinch both so it's actually That's fact though, so it's the same okay yeah, but I then i don't like this so what, no but then he had to he has to get an agility on the first miss okay. you just stay in and keep toxing okay okay you I have to you. miss like three in a row to lose okay okay so pex trades here which is fair he doesn't need her anymore toxic? please be toxic oh no, it's okay. just hate spamming which is fine he, he, he just wants the free mel slash toxic oh free toxic coming out yep okay what do you do here is this more more trades i know more trades even in this position has him shit in his pants because this mon is so scary dude yeah if you don't have a scary. tyranitar get ready mm, this guys, is tough he can still flinch because look, he sacked somebody on Landorus. No, 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 it's For over. Zuma, you sack, Zuma you sack Rilla, you sack Rilla, and you go Mel, and it's Zuma over. Rilla. You go yeah. Rilla, and you uh, it's and over. You go Mel and get the terrain right. Yeah, it's over. I think, unless he like defogs on Rilla, then you'll get fucked because he'll go into. Maybe don't go Rilla then. Ooh, Can't you Rilla's just stay in U-turn? Can't you just stay in U-turn because you live? Yeah. And now Mel is just the best. Yeah, it's Goober over now. Mel is the base. Because uh, Bash into Grassy Kills. Nicely played. Yeah. Nice game. Wow, 45. 38 and 45. Okay, and it Oko's anyway. Shit, this he, this not Lord bad. EVs. Not Lord EVs. <clears throat> that shit should oh, live one. Wow. I have not yeah. seen that shit die. Lord EVs always lives. Lord EVs always, always lives with a 4 to 6 HP. A lot of people, they don't understand that. You need to respect. Sometimes even after prior chip, too. Don't forget that. Sir... That was an exciting game too. Agency, go ahead and like this video if you like an exciting series like this one. And let me know in the comments below, right after game two, who do you think is going to take it in this Gen 7 finisher? Wow, that was a nasty game. That noob wow. boob team really noobed some boobs. Or goobed some yeah. boobs. That shit was demon. Demon time. Let's tune into this crying soul win and you interlude. Okay, this is the interlude? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Scyther versus Le Chansey's an NU? You're lying. Zoro, oh, no. Chansey, stall. Why am I Dude, not how is this even real? How is Zoroark and Chansey in any... Well, Zoroark, I understand. Zoroark's dicks, but... I don't Yo, how is this team so ugly, like, in terms of color scheme? No, it's a like, nice team. This team looks like it's been NU or RU for eight generations straight. Solvens. Rotom, Rotom <laughs> Normal is a staple of shit gens. Same with Quillfish and Scyther. Who wins? Let me go with turn four. Alright, both switch, rocks, leaf storm. Looks bad for crying. I think Scyther 6-0 is this team. What do you think? I think it does though. What do you say? You think what? I think oh, uh battle started, battle started. Oh some fat so some fat so fat team. Let's see. I think it's over. This team is obese. Nothing no, no, nothing Victini can destroy this team. With what? There's a slow bro. Banded, banded. Bro. They're not they're like helmet max defense. That's not what they are. Okay. And even then, it can still lose. He can switch between bro and Pax until there's no I'm just saying, if I was in this position, I think Lele plus Ban Victini, I'd win with. Specs Lele and Ban Victini? I don't know if it's Specs Lele. But I'm just saying, Victini plus Rotom plus Lele, I think you can definitely win this. Okay, non-Specs Lele does nothing. Maybe. Nunca, nunca. maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Calm Mind is pretty shisty. You just gotta, you know, do some magic. Oh, Calm Mind Z? Yeah. I still think this Vic can be really good versus this structure. You know what it is? It's fucking celebrate. Then Vic, again, bro. I have never been weak to Victini before. I always Dude, beat it, Victini. Dude, it's celebrate Victini. Are you serious? Look at it. It's in terrain. Oh, no, dude. 
Yeah. I hope and for his team, sake. I hope for his sake it's not that. There are the you, and you the know, team follows the three physical, three special. Let me tell you something, play. bro. Let me let me let me tell you all watching something. Usually, oh, he's up? this is done. Yeah. Oh, say can you? This is defog rotom, right? So it gets out stalled. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's defog. Well, this can be one. T spike scald recover haze, right? Yeah. Indeed. Okay. So that well, means Lele right now. Lele comes in and goes okay, for a spec psy shock. But you can go with the bro here on a scout. Bro here? What if it's CM? Holy balls. <laughs> what kind of damage oh, is this? Yeah, they're it's all specs, specs. So this can definitely win. Alright. T Spikes is a big ass threat for this. What does Magirna click here? Pain split, right? Flash cannon? Oh, pl pain split, yeah, yeah. If it's pain super split, free. It's free. Yeah. Pain split mm. is free. Lele is, you hit uh, Lele is cheap, but also Magirna Max Max is about as good as it gets. But then Pharaoh's coming out and getting laying them up, though, after pain split. This is good for Starfire because it needs them spikes off the field. Shit is whack yeah. for him. So for just get maxed up. Just also, why is the Ferrothorn not lefty's helmet, which is very interesting? I guess for Weavile or something. Or or the resist berry. Leech, okay. Okay, leech to play the long game. No, that was a bad play. Yeah. Okay, well oh. you turned. So uh, knock. It's a resist berry. It's not even fucking thing. Yo, going Ooh, to Glasgow yeah. there is crazy. Yeah, Glasgow's crazy. <laughs> that shit worked out is funny. Probably expected Thunder Wave. Let's see. Dude, why is he staying in with Ferrothorn? Oh, it's over. Dude, this is, these, these are whack plays. Should have got up rocks immediately to force some kind of fog or whatever. Yeah, these are whack plays. Well, now it's like literally over. I think Glide Score is going to kill everybody. This is the most Glide Score weak team I've ever seen. This is in extremely Glide Score weak, yeah. This is extremely straightforward. Uh, Yeah, super weak. That's toxic spikes plus Glasgow. I don't really know how it's supposed to break through this. Because everything gets poisoned. The Big Teeny never entered the field, unfortunately. Because I guess it is celebrated, as you said, which is so heartbreaking and shite. Ah, uh, it's very Jover. I hope this isn't Scarf. Um. I feel like it might be. Elite Seed Jar Ball. So that's Rock Pharaoh, not Spikes. I don't even know what the Pharaohs like. Why wouldn't it? Why? Why didn't he go for Hazards on the Magirna's Volt Switch? And so why did he Leech Seed into Torn? Because he probably he, he he. Oh, okay. Well, now it's <laughs> one million over. What? Yeah, because now the only Mon that could break is Poison. What's the default on this team? Is there none? Oh, it's Gambit Vic. No, it's Rotom. Oh, it's Gambit Vic. Okay. okay. Right. Even though you're supposed to lead that, Fuck. now Gambit, now Gambit, now Gambit doesn't even kill. Bro, yeah, this shit lives at like twelve percent. Yeah, he just slack off yeah, his bro yeah. here. Now that's just thoroughly goobed, I think. Inexplicable. Let's see. I think you you need to know how to break. There were two Victinis that could have won this. Oh, see, it's it is Gambit. So that shit is ass. I was hoping he was Bandit or Power Up Punch, but the shit. Why didn't he lead it in five? I don't know why he didn't lead it either. Cause it's not doing anything regularly. I don't know because now it's only confirmed that it won't do anything. Because you can always go into bro. Uh, yeah, I really don't understand why he didn't uh, just lead it. Yeah. You have to know how to be fat in these tournaments. Yeah, but also this team is like, no, this team could have beaten fat, bro. Right? Because you could have dual hazards on your Pharaoh lander structure and be fine. Torn can't defog forever. Um, <clears throat> between your landers being teched, your Ferrothorn having gyro, and you the fact that you have breakers that can oko torn, these shits aren't you, boots, right? You cannot these stop spikes and rocks from going up on this battle. These shits are not boots, right? No, there's no boots in Gen 7. So, oh, yeah, I think the sets are all very poorly picked. Like, Scarf Victini is not a real Pokemon. Uh, if I mean, if you do want to run Scarf Victini cheese, you gotta have setup sweepers. That's the whole point. He has no yeah, setup. You're, you're supposed to play 5 5 because. You know, a random you yeah, you're supposed to get rid of one out. random fat mon that they now cannot check your offensive mon because they needed that joint. That's the whole point. Because like, if he was able to catch one of the bros or pecs, 
damn he could have had any setup type shit instead he caught himself lacking now you go lele i think i scald again uh dude Whatever. lele can't even break anything bro lele literally can't break anything it's like it's beyond over dude yeah also good t-spikes you always prioritize okay hold on this is kind of a bad play dude Oh. This is kind of a bad play. Come on, doable now, doable. Now you get to go Rotom for free. Actually, dude, it doesn't even matter. Because look, if I'm lax, I'm going back to fucking Chansey. Because what do you do as Starfire? Nothing breaks this. This doesn't even yeah. kill. Yeah. You have to get see, somebody. See, he, he doesn't even, you have to EQ to kill that. So, I mean, I guess that's kind of good. Because Psychic can 2 KO this maybe now. Right? No way, it's like two KOs. You think Does so? it? Modest specs in the in the Gen it's Seven terrain. Move. Gen Seven oh, terrain. Gen Seven terrain. Gen Seven terrain. Modest, rocks up. It okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. It's not Scarf Landers. Good. He's now, now there's some. Now there's actually some potential here for Starfire. Dude, he's fucking cooked by side terrain. Damn, yeah, stop now knocking off, off, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Now he has to this is like he's like trying to get momentum that doesn't exist. Okay. Oh, he's trying to max him now. He's he finally realized that he has to. Yeah, he has to max him because he can't get him off. He has to make Lax get the hazards off. Why didn't he start doing this like 20 turns ago? I don't know. Oh, he clicks his leash seed. Let's see. Okay, Torn is weakened now. To like 55, 58. Leeches again. Guess he's scared shitless of Gliscor. Right? Mm. Does this Pharaoh not have hazards, bro? It for sure has hazards. And then it would have used it, I think. Because there's no other explanation as to why you wouldn't be going for hazards. Hey, what's, the, what's, the, what's the last move? I have no Where fucking idea. Last? Knock off Gyro. Thunder Wave? I, I don't know. But not going for hazards is so unexplainable, bro. No, wow. he just he just didn't go for it. He for sure has hazards. I don't understand. Because otherwise, that's crazy. I don't understand why he won't go for him. Because it's like... You, that's three? the only way he can get progress versus anything. Leech three pharaohs. Oh crazy. no. Oh no, lost this for nothing. Yeah, it's looking this is six oh I think. This is looking schmover. You go into your Lele here and you click psychic. Into mag it should do forty, so I don't think you go mag. Uh, there's no do? play. I like as Starfire, I can't even I, I I've been trying to analyze this shit, but Yeah. It if, looks pretty if difficult, right? If this was right? Pharaoh, then the entire route... Let's see if that Scyther one in the Solomon wow. game. Oh, it looks like we're at turn 23. And we're at the exact same situation we were when I last looked at this battle. Scyther versus <laughs> plus two Lorantis. What the fuck? All right, back to the real game. Maybe the situation Psychic happened did 49 again. in the 45. Looks like Chansey is big. No drops? Oh, no drops ever. 51. We needed that earlier. My name is Chansey, and I'm heavy. 52. Ooh, nice toxic. Oh. Good turn to toxic, right? Yeah, it's over now. Oh, unless it's healing wish Lopani. Mm. No. <laughs> I fear it is not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because you, you turn into slow bro and then you get walled by every single mon. Oh, torn. He okay. doesn't even do damage. You go Lopani here. And then he has Psychic on Bro to make sure Lopini never wins. That's a cold counter. Wait Alrighty. a minute. Knock that shit out with a safe Z. <laughs> yep, this is Team Insurance versus Cartana. Ooh. Okay. okay. It's, Ate good, that shit. it's a good insurance versus Cartana. Rock up shit. forever. Rock, rock trade, trade, death. trade. Oh, he killed it? Okay. He had okay. this. Why didn't this happen fucking 30 turns ago? What? Dude, this could have put up Goober pressure. Yeah. Assuming he's, uh... Oh, wait, no, he's just... I feel like he had more than enough breaking tools between Gambit, Vic, Z, this, this and Specs, Lele. This is an SD. It's it doesn't need to be fun. SD, though. This can get off at least two knockoffs and a uh, supersonic and sky rock. strike on and rocks on this team, for sure. Yeah. But he kept knocking yeah, off Chansey and shit. What the fuck was that? No, I mean, no, no, no. The thing is, he couldn't get rocks up because the other guy got, uh... Because Lax got, uh thing up i always Lax thought his way to get t spikes off was to just get his own hazards up because lax needs to remove more than he does it depends i don't know i think if rock and spike goes up it's really bad for lax 
Yeah. Because that ma- mag and chance to go out the window in terms of checking Lele. Yeah. But then uh, Lele is also on a timer. It true. depends. True, like true, one true. layer. Of, I would try. If but, I would but I'm saying at that point, he already like had the Lele keep... toxic, right? No, he didn't have the Lele toxic. He did, though, didn't he? That was very late. That was like two turns ago. He preserved it as well as possible. It never got T spiked. Oh, you're right. It didn't get T spiked. True, true, true. He did preserve it. Yeah. If I relax, I would take one spike, one rock to keep my T spikes up. It's okay. only three layers of spikes that where it gets kind of, you know. Yeah, it gets dicey. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, do I want to keep T spikes up? T spikes literally for one guy, but that guy breaks my whole shit. I see. Yeah, up, uh, I think two two spikes plus rocks. You're already nullifying regenerator. And right. Yeah. I, w- I would let my Lele get poisoned and start. Cause you can still get off eight turns at least. Yeah, but then he would always save. Also, two it? turns of uh, badly poison is less than two turns of regular poison. So badly le- poison Lele might just even be better. Yeah, because you just attack, attack, and switch out. Attack, yeah. attack, switch okay, out. Glide score is going for plus a thousand. Um. Which doesn't help because Landris just flies here, doesn't it? The thing is, he can PP stall until miss. I think Lax fucked up, bro. Be always at full. Because I think. No, you can't. You can't, bro. What? I think Lele wins. Am I tripping? Dude, why did oh, Tornado's dying there is pretty... It's really not really the right bad. turn for it, yeah. Yeah, now nothing, nothing's faster than Lele. Mm. Lele's oh, cheap. This, is, this, this is very... I mean, it's still, it's still like, doable. I just don't... I don't know what Lax's win needs con to is. Glyceman needs to be full. No, no, if no. If that Glyceman Pharaoh is... ever puts up the spike, it's gibbed. Is what I'm thinking. No, that... Glasscore still wins because Lele's on a timer. You gotta understand. Glasscore wins eventually. This thing just needs to be at full. The thing is, he has more Level. flies than this dude has roosts. So Glasscore's always gonna be in spec psychic range after the fly. No, 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 no. No, yo SD here. You don't kill it immediately. Yep. Sure, sure, sure. But and then on the next attack, you roost. Okay. But I'm saying that Starfire, if he doesn't miss fly, wins this every time. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Look. He does. Dude, you, it takes two fly PP to, to take but one. But he's knock. knocking the next turn to nullify the roost turn. He's knocking. It's stupid. See? Because now he's psychic range. This is what he I'm kills. telling you. Pretty sure it was always in psychic range. No, but that's why I'm saying that unless fly misses and Lax like predicts the miss, this is the yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah, actually, that, that does always keep this low. He's mm-hmm. fucked. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mag lives too. So. That defog is so fucking greedy. See, that okay, so, so that greedy. lives, that lives. You go, you can vote here as Mag, right? Or do you, Shit. you split into Pharaoh? This is tough. If you split into Pharaoh, you don't even gain that much because Pharaoh has to shit. Wonder if you paint. I was gonna say you psychic again, but that might have been a crazy bad play. Pharaoh psychic finally again? should. No, no, no. no. Psychic again gets uh, Lele too. Pharaoh low. gets the leech up. On what? Finally, Spike goes up, but very kind of weird situation lopany can come in actually if it's ice punch lopany can come in okay or encore or ice punch you think it's either of the two probably not oh no what's going on i feel like oh nice play great play oh good encore i mean good switch on encore okay, he's gonna scald here but you have to go into your pharaoh i think regardless and get them all up yeah okay nice burn nice burn that puts him back in a pretty strong position yeah this is actually pretty bad Mmm. Cause you leech S Starfire, right? Longevity game. Now he can like He can troll a little bit, like go into his Lopany and shit. Yeah. He's gonna go back in a bro. I would go into Lele. Maybe that's not the play actually. Mm, Lele is a crazy play. Nah, Lele's though. not good because you'd have to moonblast bro anyway. That's like not even yeah. good. Too bad he can EQ here. Exactly. Yeah, you can literally EQ here, you're right. Yeah. I think he's just gonna SD. Whip! See, EQ is a possibility. Whip is really bad. Why wouldn't you spike again to guarantee your fucking Lele? Yeah, if you spiked again there, you're nullifying regenerator. So they can't switch around anymore. Okay, interesting. 
going for it all. Hey, double EQ was the right play because it stops the Lele. All right, if Lopri agreed, tries agreed, to come agreed. In, double EQ is great. It's great. I agree. You get, you get chip. Oops. Okay, so Lele's here now. He has to side that Scyther stack. game. Yo, that Scyther game did not happen that way. Crying's wrote him. I'm six owed. Five owed. Solwyn. Solwyn. I'm sorry to say you got gibbed. Sorry. All right. They both had wrote him. No, wrote him to do shit. Okay, it was the so fucking. Pax dies. Terror. Now you go into your mag, and you what? You vote into whatever on the Vic, or you paint split into Vic. You get back pretty negligible amount of HP. Yeah, it is negligible, dude. If he got another spikes or like. If yeah, going for whip. Point, going for whip spikes, was, was literally over. next level. Yeah, it was over if he had max spikes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at least, because, well, actually. Spikes See, is, is 17 or 16.66 and Stealth Rock is 6.25 on mag. So that's about 23, which means it'd be at 45 or 46. So it probably lived actually. No, but it would have come in another time. No, I know what you mean though. There's like no, you don't have to risk nothing then. There's no pain split mind game. There's no nothing. And also same with the potential bro no, taking no. Psychic. Wait, it goes from 12 something to what, 17? 16.66. Uh, okay, so like four more percent. So he, he came in twice, that's eight extra percentage. Yeah, he'd be at like 46 if he came in here with was, another spike. But then it, it would also change the pain split percentage, but not by that much. Let's just say minus 6% then, right? Yeah, barely, because I think Starfire would just go to his useless Victini every time. Yeah, that's true. Which, that's keep, true. which limits the HP. That would Victini max HP probably has like, at 63%, it has roughly 240 HP. And Mag has like 180, no, so it would probably get like 30, 40 HP back. But this Victini's max invested. Okay, it goes into yeah. this to spam slack off? Or what? Uh, Glyscore beats the last two by clicking EQ? No, it doesn't. He needs he needs Slowbro alive. He can't sack this. He cannot sack this. I mean, he could... Uh, so he, he does slack off, I think. But Glyscore I don't know, said, though. If Glyscore you, if you slack off once into fucking drop, then you just lost your Slowbro. No, you always slack off, bro. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. For like, but I mean, if you get dropped, you get dropped. Scald won't. You get dropped, uh, you Scald won't anyway. save you. Yeah, no, Scald right. won't save you. Yeah. That yeah, was the right slack right. off. That was a good play. You always slack off once, and then. <laughs> well, cause I mean, oh, Starfire. What if he goes to does... Lopani and Encore? Is but even if know? he goes Encore, it's like whatever, cause he's not Encore power up punch. Is Dude, he? it is Encore power up punch, that right? That, that's what they run. Is that what they run? I have no oh, idea. Uh, I, I we we've run a lot of Lopanis in our day, but Encore was not on our our agenda. Yeah, because I'm just trying to smash shit. Encore, uh, Encore is for scrubs, no, no, dude. Run, That's, run Encore, you're Pokemon. scared. This thing has 400 attack. Why am I not clicking an attacking move? The thing is, after I tried Encore Pup, I'm like, I need fake out, bro. I need fake out. Non-fake out is so insane. Alakazam is all over that bitch. Alakazam yeah. is a bitch. I'm telling you. Also, you just need that pri priority to yeah, get a little priority. extra chip. You know how many fake outs you get on average per game? You know how annoying five. it is? You know how annoying it is to know that your Rotom has to take a 20% initial for no reason versus that mod every time? Reason. That mod is no. cheap, bro. I'm telling yeah. you. Lopin is heat. Okay. So oh, that's why that, yo, that's why Sneasler is gonna be cheap. It's the fucking poison touch Lopini, bro. True. But Pex is cooking him. Cook. Sending him to Let Shanghai Sharks. Boy. He's finished. Until Dire Claw fucking puts you to sleep or <laughs> paralyzes you. Oh yeah, that's actually true. When you get put to sleep, G Jizzle. That shit is not fair. That shit is not fair. They gave an offensive mod a stall ability. I mean, a stall move. Like they did do that. They did do that, sir. Fuck out of here. Game two Yo, of the Soul and Crime right? series. Oh, Bombardier. Interesting. So, if he's encore power oh. punch, Lax has to make this correct play so right here. Soul predicted turn one. <laughs> fucking outplayed right. this shit. Huh? What'd you say? So if Lax thinks that Starfire Scarlet's fishing for drop, he has to recover here. And if um, Starfire is, no, uh, I think I think Lax is always clicking uh, slack Black off. off. Yeah. Then oh, he has shit. to always do Lopini. Oh, he predicted Lopini, or no? He just wanted to chip this. Don't see how Lax wins now versus Lopini. Oh, now you, you can sack Mag. Now you can sack Mag. Maybe Mag. No, you can't sack Mag. Doesn't he lose now to return three times? I think it's over. Yeah, yeah. he does. Oh, fuck. You're right. Power up punch encore. GG. Yeah. Oh, it's over. Dude, no. Not like this. Not like this. Damn.
Yeah, dude. We were talking about it from the beginning, though, that Starfire definitely had the tools to break. I guess it just kind of no, took a yeah, while. No, yeah, the tools called Spike's Ferrothorn, which he refused to use. That's what I'm tool. saying, though. He just took forever to do it. But once he actually did it, it's like it's a very clear... That's why I felt like he had a god matchup. Oh, it was Mega? Yeah, it was Mega. Oh, wait. It lived and died anyways? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Do you get a death boost if you Mega? I think he should have just... I don't think he could have done anything even in this position. Because, look, even if you go into... If Slowbro dies, V create twice wins because the Vic is Scarf. Um, oh my god. So if Dude, you, that, you, that there's nothing you can do. Yeah, greedy, the default bro. Tornadus was way too greedy. Especially because Z was unrevealed. So what else was Z going to be besides Landorus? Yeah, you know it's not Victini. It's U-Turn Because Victini already. Scarf. Rotom is already it's, shown leftovers, which means nobody else can be Z. Yeah, nobody else. Literally nobody else could be Z. Damn. Mm. That's a difficult one. That was a great. That was a pretty good series, though. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed watching this three game series. Hope y'all enjoyed. We will be posting more Smogon Tour playoffs coverage. I believe there's even a, another match of this tiebreaker to get in as a 16th seed. It's a round robin. So hopefully we'll be able to catch that soon. We'll see y'all yep. soon. Drop a like. Have a good one. Peace. Peace. And we are back, folks. Not even 15 seconds later for another match. Starfire Scarlet versus Dosmer 03. Part Still, 2 of the round robin? Yes, sir. Smoke on tour, the return. This is part 2 of the round robin. There are three opponents that are trying to get in to uh, the 16th Three spot. opponents? Sorry, I guess I'm not in the tournament. I don't know why opponent. I called them opponents. <laughs> there are three this players. Got, this man got vicious. It's too early in the day. <laughs> he he think he on the team. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Three contestants are Starfire Scarlet, Dosmer 03, and Lax. So we so just saw, uh, yeah. For the number 16 spot. Like I said last video, they're competing to see who gets to be Jimmy Butler. Right exactly. Now, Starfire Scarlet is up one series, right? If yeah, he, he beat Dosmer, Lax 2 he is 1. Jimmy Butler. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's on the road to like, Jimmy, the Jimmy Talk Road. Jimmy Do Talk Road. Dosmer has a pretty regular looking team. I've played this team a lot, except I played it with an Iron Hands over uh, Amoongus. You ever played this team? Yeah, I, I don't know. They all look the same. They all look the same. It they all, they all, <laughs> I label them all free points. Starfire is hot off a win. He got the next series not even one minute after winning his series. Un minuto. So, but he got cooked badly in Gen 8, so you can tell he's not good at Gen 8. That's his weak tier. Yeah, he did. He did get outplayed pretty badly in Gen 8. I'm not going to lie. But he held it down in uh, Gen 9 for sure. I guess he yeah, got like two speed ties. But also, he just... I feel like he had a better control on it. And then Gen nah, 7 Gen was... 9, Gen 9, Gen, he did luck. He did luck in Gen 9. Crit, he did luck in Gen 9. I agree. Without the sucker crit, it was better. Cause EQ, agreed. EP, agreed. KO'd. The crit was yeah. really bad. Because EP2 it KO'd. Also, you can have still the hazards mind game with your Glim. All the, the crit was bad. Yeah. And and then the two speed tie win. Even though... I don't know. Like two speed At that position, it looked pretty bad. But still. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like egregious, like fucking. Oh, you robbed it. Yeah, he definitely. It's not like I'm saying he didn't deserve it. He deserved his win. It was like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was like minor robbery. It was yeah. like, hey. Give it me was that just first. a little more fortune. Okay, so we see Vault get put to sleep, uh, which we'll we'll see how that works for him. So it makes sense because Vault doesn't. It's probably do shit. not a Terra of Plast Vault then. Yeah, I mean, whatever. No Vault is beating all three of those shits. You're right. There's too many. Dragonite packs and send, yeah. Sloking comes in. You think this is what if this is assault? I mean, what if this is Cobra Cloak nasty plot? This shit shits on Dosmer. Should be. Damn. Never mind. It's Nobody runs set. that except for big brained uh, individuals Lord. like the agency. Yeah. That means us and Mr. Jambed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only users in the world of that shit. Oxymoron. Dude, it's an oxymoron. Nasty the plot. Nasty plot. One right there. Did you see that? Nasty plot. Literally say? one right there. Yeah. You turn water know. and you six zero everything. Shit's just insta over. But the thing is, he could be Band Knight and revenge you. Yeah, true. But you or could... Tree, you, you Starfire is pretty weak to the Knight. The only tough. Okay. This is a tough play. Is Dosmer, Dosmer, I'm clicking Focus to... Blast in this bitch. Dosmer is going to <laughs> Tusk. It's not going to Tusk. He's a future sight out. Oh, he has a future sight out? Tusk, he's oh. dead. He's got no fucking switching. He got no switching. He's got yeah. switching his Dragonite. That's why he's staying in. Exactly. He's Teleport fucked. Is <laughs> he's literally fucked. I was like... He, no, he was hoping that Starfire would predict Focus Blast, so he made a read that makes no sense. Because if Starfire does switch, it's going to be Sloking anyways, which takes nothing. That he should have tricked. No that was a horrendous Shadow Ball. That was the worst Shadow Ball of all time, probably. What was he thinking? Dude, he was hoping that for a switch. Cool, he was hoping for a switch, being afraid yeah. of Focus, but that was just... That Fuck, was no, I'm not focusing. Yeah. That was next Otherwise, level. Otherwise, I'm sucker punching, too. Otherwise, I'm sucker punching, too. You know? that, was, that was next level.
Uh, well, now Draco Meteor or Dragon Darts 100 0 matchup. Whichever Quite one down. that the uh, Dragapult wants to have. It's. I mean, also I'm Shadow Ball. Spec Shadow Ball also 6 0s Dosmer. Dosmer has the worst team I've ever seen. This is a life. garbage team. Why does it's it like, have. Like a, it has the right like tools. It has the right tools of a fat team, but then has whack members of offense sprinkled on. This shit makes no fucking sense. No, it doesn't have the tools of a, of, of a fat team. It no, it has no tools. I'm going to tell you one thing. If you run a Moongus plus Pex, you don't know what you're doing. With all due respect, you, know, <laughs> you have no you idea what you're doing. No, if you there's run no respect. If you run a Moongus <laughs> If you run both those bitches on the same team, you have no forehead. idea what you're doing, dude. No, you have a neon sign on your forehead saying, I'm pussy. <laughs> Alright, and a sin because you're too afraid to play against the little hazards. Double removal is so insane. Yeah. Either way, no, I'm, not going, I'm not giving Starfire the pass because he has backs, aka the sign of a top tier pussy. I said that the, the virgin uh, Mount Rushmore of Pokemon is backs, Volk, uh... I forgot which other two, but Bax and Volk are number Bax, one. Volk, Gambit, Gambit, and, Gambit and, and, Pult? and maybe Paul. <laughs> Paul is really pussy. This shit takes negative skill. Negative. <laughs> Especially yeah. sub Wisp Paul. That shit Salt is for clouds. Salt also takes no skill. Either. That Glaive Rush is not banded, right? Or uh, is it? No. It might well, be. actually, maybe no, it no, is. no. It's max it could be max defense. Yeah, yeah that, it, that's is banded. Really it is banded. It is banded. I was underrating really? Amoongus, dude. This guy is bulky as it gets. Okay, me, somebody me, dies now. Let me show the some respect. Ace comes in, gets to go for free U-turn, but okay, power ball. U-turn okay. kills us. It's over. Dosmer loses. <laughs> oh wait, it's Blaze. It's not even uh, Libero. Yeah. The way you said that shit has me laughing. It's over. Dosmer loses. <laughs> like, damn, <laughs> GG, bro. No, I'm the guy that <laughs> calling when the game is over. I called it when game two was, <laughs> was over. Game nah, three? but Starfire was on a, it, a hot, was on right. a hot win streak after that last game. He's not losing this. No, you said if it was Spike's uh, Pharaoh, mm -hmm. the game was over. And indeed, I cooked that team. Yeah, but he just he refused to spike. Oh, very nice turns. Very nice turns. That shouldn't even matter. It's still the same game plan, going to Dragonite and yeah, set up. Same game plan, yeah. So like, but now he has an excuse to say, I missed Double Willow. <laughs> I missed Double Willow. Was, da anything, was down 3-6. Those three two six. Willows gave him some, saved, saved him some face. No, Starfire definitely had some good opportunities. He has a fucking Tusk, which 6-0s. I mean, Dosmer has a Tusk, which 6-0s if it's bulk up. But it's probably it's not bulk clearly up. Clearly not. It's rock. Clearly not, because he has no rocker. Right, yeah. right, right. Idiots love to use the worst sets. <laughs> hey, Rock Tusk. If it's too common, if you got an ace, bad. why are you even running Rock's Tusk? Just bulk up on that bitch. Yeah. Bulk up would have won this game easily. It's a shame. No. No, it wouldn't have. It would have. He would just tear a water to Slow King. And then I'd EQ and I'd Oko that bitch. Boom. Me it's, too, Oko to do that. He could just go hard. King. I'm goobing that shit. See? Yeah, and you still need two bulk ups to kill I'm it. I'm Terra Water, though. Oh, Terra Water would have cooked. I'm telling you. Yeah, Terra Water would have cooked actually. And he hasn't Terra yet. Yeah, Terra Water book up would have cooked. Whatever. D Knight, Terra Fairy wins. Shh. Or Terra Steel. Wait, no, there's a fucking full health Dragapult left. Are you on crack? Oh, I'm dicks. We went back. So he just yeah. gets E speeded here. Book up is not. Oh, okay. okay. It's over. <laughs> actually, this can DD for free on like two dudes. Is it banded or what? I don't know. I don't think no, so. Very if it was, if it was banded, it wouldn't have Terra there. No, it literally switched up moves. Okay, you're right. It literally switched up moves. <laughs> well, you did it for free okay. here. He has to hope that the Pult is not Wisp. Yeah. Why wouldn't you is. DD there? How is DD there not to play? Because if it's Wisp, you know. If it's Wisp, you lost anyway. Because it's going to Wisp this and troll it. That's true. That and was a whack-ass play. He should have DD'd and gone for gold. Yeah. Okay, well. I guess this is still fine, though. Because... You still get the DD off? Maybe Ooh, Gambit. A, oh, Shyst EQ. Shyst EQ. Good EQ. To win with this with the AV packs. Shyst EQ. Oh, oh Shyst or play. Shyst or play. Oh. Oh. On the oh, but Roost. Oh, Roost. Oh, oh, this, this is, is a, this is a nasty, nasty game. Shiest. Go back into go back into Gambit. Go into Gambit. Get pretty good chip. Oh no, the bulk beam. Oh, oh he bad. should have gone Gambit. No, I guess it didn't matter if he doubled the Gambit because it had Ice Beam the whole time. Dude, yeah. Dosmer brought it back somehow. <laughs> no way, Dragonite. I, think... I dude, I knew Dragonite had it in him. I stopped saying. Oh, dude, it's fucking. That's my Spex... favorite saying. Dude, Specs not even good. If he had Willow, it's the one. Never leave home. 
without it. It's my favorite saying. Dude, I can't believe fucking this cheese knight set won in the end. This is the most skillless set, which is why I run on every team. Dude, but look at Sometimes. his shit team with no ground resist and no normal resist. This is the worst team ever. Yeah, you need a corp or something on this bitch. This is so greedy. Bax, Gambit, Volk, Specs, whatever. Have some shame, dude. Yeah, this is the greediest team greediest ever. Greediest team of all time, right? Dude, and it's Specs pulled. Like, no, you, need, you need one corp or like a fucking Terra Garg or some shit on this team. Some status. You can't have shit slow king either. You need like a, a real mon like a pex. Credits to Dosmer because I thought he was getting his shit pushed in. And he was yeah. until like the Depending literally again, last dude. turn. No, but this set always won. Also, he, he played Shiesty in the end with his AV pex, aka the sign of a true visionary. If you're nice with AV pex, you have our agency stamp of approval. So it looks like Dosmer is victorious in game one of that series. If he wins the next one, then he plays lax i think right and then if he beats lax he goes to the finals i mean not final sorry he goes to jimmy butler he's the he's the 16th seed i think i think he shouldn't have sacked backs like that yeah i think because so. he could have gone pull. he could have he could have gone pull first yeah he could have definitely right. used backs as glaive rush it would have been good to have that in the back yeah i agree with you it was a premature sack you probably thought he already had it bagged up. That's tough. That team and is weak I to Dragonite. As soon as it tears. You know what other Dragonite would have gooped that shit? The Terra Flying. Super Any Dragonite. Set. Any Dragonite. I mean, I think he should have baited uh, E-Speed at some point and then gone Volk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Best chance to utilize Volk. Yeah. yeah. But he couldn't really let anyone else go to sleep. Okay. If it was... Game started, maybe he should Maybe he'll let uh, Paul go to sleep. Some Gen 8 goodness. All right. But on my... paper, Paul is so good. Okay, for my calculations. Okay, I know Dosmer's team. This is like that OG, OG, OG 6 that's been used oh, for like three Dosmer years wins? on the ladder. If Dosmer wins, then Dosmer versus Lax happens. And then it could yeah. be a bracket reset accordingly. Yeah, These have been yeah, some entertaining bracket. games so far, though. And we've had some top-notch commentary. Give this video a like for the agency's commentary division. Let's Yo, see. the bracket reset for the fucking 16th place tiebreak would be crazy. Dude, I've never been in a round robin like tiebreaker like in this sense um, to get into something. I've been in the tiebreaker finals before and I've had that reset like four times and that shit took three hours to finish and I lost. <laughs> in other words, L. <laughs> no, I, like, L no, because we kept going 1-1-1. One, one, one. You know why? Because me and one other guy, Ray Scarface, kept using uh, baton pass only. And the third guy was Sabella. And so it was us three in the finals. It's like five years yeah. ago. And we just kept baton passing each other. And it went for four or five resets straight. And then finally, yeah. I think Sabella made the nastiest sub SD pincer fucking counter team and beat both of us in one. <laughs> <laughs> this shit was so funny. It was like a two, three hour smog tour. That shit. That I'm a, I'm a, I'll have to ask him. I've ever it was one of the most deserving S tour wins of all time. I fuck must say. Both of you, first of all. You know what? You. you know what? We we were we were men with plans. We just wanted to show that Baton Pass was really cooking like that. Yo, Starfire Scarlet really loves Moltres. Yeah, I think I think that shit got banned right, uh, right around after that time because we were just too shysty. Yeah, you. I'm sure you were shysty. <laughs> <laughs> and, not, and not the teams playing itself. Yeah, every time I baton pass, people are like, damn, how did he do that baton pass? Damn, I guess karma got you. No, no, he did it. <laughs> baton pass, bitch. Baton pass is shiest. Yeah. Real men I baton pass. We got a baton pass slash shed tail apologist. <laughs> no, I don't like shed tail. Shed tail is for, shed tail is for literal pussies. Shut up all here. Oh my god, he's pussy. Dude, nobody ever EQs there, ever in their life. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess it didn't take a KO, but okay. maybe he was... Let me go back. Do you think it was Specs I would to see, do... I would have CC turn one as Dosmer, so Starfire made the right turn. Shadow Ball did a fuck yeah. ton. Specs is a f motherfucker. Okay, then... Also, Shadow Ball is not a good turn if he protects. Yeah, that's true. No, why would he protect? There's a lander. I would have toxic this him. I wouldn't or... even have rocked. I would have toxic. So... Yeah, it, it was either toxic or rocked. Whatever, I still yeah. win Shadow Ball. Oh, you're bad. I'm you bad. You just said toxic was coming out. I'm bad. <laughs> Let's get there. one thing straight. I'm bad. All right. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, cart on Shifu. Whatever. Corviknight 12 0s Starfire if it loses Aegis Slash. So it's got to be careful. Yeah, but the Moltres, the Moltres no skill spamming is crazy. The Shifu might 
me pads. Oh, okay. It's, it's how we okay. Leaf blade cart into this. It's probably scar. That's cart. the worst leaf blade I've ever worst seen. Worst blade of all time. But he's shitting his pants versus that Rashifu. You don't want to get predicted there. Dosmer's owning him so far. Um, by, click, by clicking the fucking resist into his U-turn, he's look, owning I'm, him. I'm gonna tell you something, uh, yeah. Dosmer has made zero. Wow. Plays. Wow. Yeah. In fact, Starlet, Starfire Scarlet has been making every right play. That was a god read. Do flash cannon here? Into no, Weavile? Like a no, you boss? Do you do not. You like always, a boss? You always shadow ball. Like a boss? Because Urshifu can stay, might stay in and trade with you. Even though it's a Urshifu's going to get o code. That's not a trade. I know, but Aegis Slash is damn near dead, so everybody else wins. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because Aegis Slash is the only thing stopping Cole. flash cannon. Oh. Told you, bro. I'm in there, like swimwear. You in there? You in there? You in there? Right, nah, but blocking on stay in is insane. People plays, but this still did have. Yeah, I guess it's boots, but you now you lose your Urshifu's band, which is hella shit. Yeah. Because uh, before you just striked everybody. Oh wow, it's looking took a lot still. This is no, full spec. His Wincon is still AG. His Wincon is still AG. He just goes to AG every time. That's why he, he doesn't care about band. Does AG kill this? AG easily kills this. Cause it looks to Wait, be no, full no, spec no, no, no. D. No, 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 no. It's AV, right? Yeah. I don't know. Wait, you turned it nothing. is so strong. No, you turned it a lot, dude. It's 26. This isn't banded okay. anymore. Oh, right, 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 right. So I'm thinking, you... uh, I don't know though. Uh, it's like 170. No, it doesn't kill. You think you so? You have to go Landris and you turn into AG. I don't you think can AG go Lele. Kills. You can go Lele if it's specs and just KO. Actually, it's that, not, it's that, not spec. that's not a situation you want to be in regardless. Actually, it could be specs because uh, Cartana. Could be Calm Mind. Could be Calm Mind Life Orb. Could be Calm Mind Life Orb. Mm, Calm Mind would cook this team, bro. What do you do here? It's definitely, dude. It's definitely Calm Mind. Because the know, cart is scarf, right? Dude, I don't even need Sloking now. I'm gonna stay in and stop you from sweeping me. Sloking is like whatever. I'm staying in Sludge Bomb, bro. Fuck it. Yeah, oh. why wouldn't you feel it out? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, because he can't let Melt get chipped always for, uh, he, he's, he's always full Starfire is going for the Specs Psychic move, I was about to say. Yeah, because, uh, okay, so the yeah. cart is Scarf, is this is Specs, Shifu Banded, Aegis Slash Specs. This is a full, like, fucking. Full choice spam team. Moonblast Goobs this shit next time this comes in. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, come that on. wasn't even Specs? Dude, that's fucking bullshit. It's just a spoon CM. You're right. It is just a spoon CM. Dude, it was, that was huge. Yeah, because I was like, CM means too much. Like, because if it was choice, it was too many breakers. But I didn't think Psyshock was going to kill that shit at 62 either. That's so it was Twisted Spoon. Spoon. Twisted Spoon, you're right. Dude, that's a, bo a bitch miss. Yeah. You're right. Too many too many choice mons, you know? Too, too many, many choice, choice mons. mons. Yeah, yeah. Definitely can't have that much. Yeah. I don't think he should have used it there, though. I think he had a switch that was fine in Landorus, which is not useful in this game. Uh, but if he gets the goob chip right there, 70% of the time it's super chip, you know? I guess. I just wouldn't. Have, than, I, I don't know. I didn't like Shifu. using it there because it doesn't kill either. But no, look, if he's slower than Shifu, slower, possibly slower than uh, Chomp, definitely slower than Weavile. True, so true, he's true, either true, only going to focus last next time on Mel. Or like Corv is in and it's a losing play. Agreed. It's a losing play, yeah. yeah, yeah so I agree, I agree, you, I agree with you. Play, yeah. No, no, you're right. That's right. his best chance. Just a right. 60 something. Yeah. Holy moly. Goob chips. That's at 25. This the wins. With this SDs and wins like very soon because the cart's at 50. Oh. It needs to be at 44. Okay, it's that's oh. the shard. At least we have 44 is funny. Looks like a Dosmer win. Yeah, that's good. Dosmer cooked them up pretty fast. We're about to see a third series. It's about to be <laughs> yeah. the greatest Scorsese two-hour production of all time. When do you get three best of threes in one video, folks? Only the agency can provide you with that top-tier tournament coverage. Where we also predict every play correctly. Oh, also, possible W check. If this crits, I don't think it kills. If that Focus Blast hit, he probably won with Leaf Blade or something, bro. Oh, wait, wait. The, uh, chomps are max for death, so it was faster than Chomp. So, I guess, you know, it could have used it a different time. You yeah, know, like, uh, I think he should have risked it. But either way, if he but hit, then, it was probably over yeah. for Dosmer if he hit that too. Yeah. Anyways, it's but not, either way, he he, was, he would have to focus blast the Mel at some point. Yeah. You know, it was that gonna be plus one or plus zero. I think Dosmer's U turning here into Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Ice Shard. 
Yeah, easily. Right, and then uh Mutant here secures the win. Okay, goes for strikes. Oh, strikes is the same thing as U turn. Because all he needed was chip on uh, Well Aegis Slash can Oko this now, so I don't think that was the right play. In fact he choked. Going for surging strikes. Because now you shadow ball and you Oko this and you lose as Dosmer. How? How does he lose? Well, did shouldn't he have shadow ball there? If Aegis Slash lives, maybe it dies at 76. Dude, I think Dude, it's fucking max max. It might die at 76. I don't know though. But Could if it lived, if it lived, Shadow Ball is 100% win. Why? Because you'd kill this and then Sacred Sword sweeps. Sacred Sword does not kill Mel from 100. But the thing oh, is, he can't. He has to go oh, into his Weavile. Landers. And there's a full health oh. Landers, exactly. He has to go into his Weavile to check you. And he can't go hard Mel on a Sacred Sword and live too. Mm, that's way, why I think way, he should have fucking U turned. And I think he shouldn't have gone cart, but he should have gone. But that's all assuming that Aegis Slash lives strikes. Do a calc right now. I feel like it does though. If Moltres takes 62, yeah, I think he threw. Should have just gone into his AG and won. This is what Gen 8 Aegis slash Spikes. Goes for Leaf Blade, which is definitely not it. Okay, he's going, for the, uh, he's going for the Secret Sword Sweep by EQing into a. Uh, that's confirmed. Um. What's it called, right? Not banned, right? It's confirmed, uh, yeah. So, oh, okay. Why did that kill? It's Earth Plate, or what? What the fuck? Is it E Plate or Choice Bandit, or what? I think it's Jover. I don't Why think Shard, I don't think shard kills. Right? I don't think Shard kills. I don't think Shard kills. Yep, easy with money. Wow, what an ending. He Yo, does 52.8 to 63. So he it definitely so he definitely should have gone to it then. On yeah. that, on that, on that, uh, instead of going in a cart. Dude, what the fuck? This earth plate as fuck. That did so much. Yeah, and it, that was pretty brazy. That was a pretty shisty game. Oh, but he still won? Yo, he 2 0 Dosmer? He didn't 2 0. Oh, wait, no, Dosmer won game one. Now we're on to game three. This is shisty. Two oh, game three series. Alright, let's see. Can star can star Starlet or Star what is it? Starfire Scarlet? Starfire. Starlet, my bad. Starfire. Yo, Starfire Scarlet is pretty, it's pretty cooking. crazy. It's cooking right now. Let's see. If it wins it's game three, cooking. then... Okay, this soul, win, this soul Win shit is on to game three. And again, another Chansey Rotom versus some Zoroark bullshit. It was the worst year ever. Actually, he has Electros, which we're fans of. Look at the set, too. Coil, Dragon Tail, Thunder Punch, Drain Punch. He's using our set. Wow. You looking at this? Wait, what? Let me see this. I'm watching this NU game, Solwyn versus Crying. And look at Solwyn's Electros set. <laughs> he is in the... He's using Lord, <laughs> using Lord Heat. Lord Heat and NU. Let me see this shit. Why is this still going on? How long is this series? Alright, Gen 7 started. Shamoin! Okay. Starfire Scarlet has a whack ass team. I think it's Z Chomp, Band Vic. Dude, Starfire's teams all look the same in every gen. It's just offense, offense, which I can respect if you can get the turns right. I think Dosmer, I think Dosmer's Pursuit Scizor, but doesn't need to be Pursuit Scizor, so we'll see. But I think you would, I think you'd want Pursuit Scizor on Dosmer's team because Alakazam looks like a bitch. Yeah, Alakazam six those. To let that shit run around unchecked looks horrible, so I think you'd want to pursue. Yeah, dude, Alakazam fucking six those. Okay, turn one and he traces two. regenerator and becomes immortal even when toxic yeah and he can trace yeah the dude, fucking zam, zam is literally evil in gen 7 you got to be zam really careful evil. versus that shit yeah okay uh mawile if it's ice fire thunder can kill everything on dosmer's team if it's the four attack breaker set four attack breaker cooks, sd yeah. similarly is like okay but it's not that good because it's got so he let chomp skill. meaning chomp is the rocker chomp's sd for sure Okay, SD rocks. That means yeah. Landers is a different set. Yeah, which means Landers is probably Scarfed. He's got a couple. I hope it's not Scarf Vic again. I hope it's Banded Vic this time, and he learned his lesson with how shit Banded. Uh, I mean, Scarf Vic is. No, it's. I guarantee you, it's still Scarf Vic. Dosmer's team is some Spanish team. I think Trosco made it a few years ago. And yeah, that team think. looks very. That team looks very. This looks uh, like the type of shit that I run into when I bring Glalie. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Well, Glalie cooks his team, except Jesus for Sizzle. Jesus bro. I guess we get three spikes up. That's a fact. 
Yeah, you get spikes up. On and he's putting time. up grassy terrain and healing us up too. Yep, and then I'm getting up the electric terrain and winning with Coco. I mean with Mag. It's done. GG. Yeah, and then you go Coco on, yep. on the Sizzler yep. you can every time candy bug. Facts. And I still got my Taunt Feeny in the back to troll. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. Alright, freest rocks ever for Starfire. In comes Bulu. I'm literally going into Victini here and getting off a of Choice Bandit V Create. Dude, I'm telling you, Bandit Vic is real. Remember I was using that versus you? People should run that more. Perfect. Game game now for Dosmer gets fucked now. Fooked. Because Pex takes at least 50 from this. Yup, nice bandit. I think the team that Starfire Scarlet's using is like an extremely old Ben Gay team. Uh, okay, that shit did nothing. I'm not gonna hold you. I thought that was gonna do like 46. It's Thir bandit too. 38 is right? really bad. Yeah, it's bandit for sure. 38 is m fucking nothing. Yeah, this is actually pretty good then for Dosmer. T okay, recover is a bad play. T wave. Doesn't want to get knocked. Getting knocked is suicide. Why did he just recover though? Why didn't he attack? Yeah, he can't go glide score and stay in on knock. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, the spikes predicting him to not go torn is pretty crazy. Okay, good Rotom. Rotom getting burned is negligible. Yeah. Why do you go Rotom predicting Torn? This doesn't stop the defog though. No, Rotom is good. Rotom is good. Cause you need a, you need to burn this Pex. I don't think his yeah. cause you wanna you need Mawile and yep. Vic to obliterate this. Yep. Dude, Skull spamming Pex beats. Yo, his what's he doing going into Garchomp? That's a whack ass play. And he should feel very grateful that on three Skulls straight he didn't get burned. That was a dumbass Garchomp play. Win. That was a dumbass play. I want Dogmer to win so the bracket resets, but yeah, I also so do cheer I. for any offense Okay, user, Rockium, you know? Z Rockium Zed. Ooh, SD's back, but Mawile's a great all-around check to that. It, is it not Rockium? It's Dra Draconium. Oh, Draconium. Draconium Z. Draconium. How did he know it was not Rockium and SD? Because if it was Rockium, he's dead anyway. So he was like, fuck it, I guess. Even though you could protect? I don't know. Oh my god, Red has... Fucking lost. Nice Vic. I would switch here back into Maw. Damn. U turn is. Dude, it's, I guess you turn. I guess U turn's fine. Yeah, U turn's good chip. Because you still you get a good forty on this. The and double, torn, the torn can't come in. But Glyscore gets healed here. I mean Toxic Orb or whatever it's called. Yeah. Do you remember a Power Up Punch Victini team that I had? Assault that Vest. Yep. Cool power Up Punch. Yeah. Double Intimidate plus Power Up Pumps Victini plus Rotom. There's, I yeah, don't know the last one. Dude, yeah. Power Up Punch Vic is legit. I don't remember the last one. I ran it but, with either AV, Shook a Berry, and some other dog shit. <laughs> yeah. We ran it with AV, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It was... Uh, there's, there's a game I remember. It, it took power up punching the Hydra and then V creating some other shit like every turn right Yeah, so I've had games where I beat Rotom because Hydra did like 48 and then I like power up punched into double bolt strike and they were like what the fuck is this <laughs> and in my head I'm like damn all according to plan <laughs> yeah literally cook cook with spikes up power punch cook yeah. super cook okay in comes Sizz on Vic nice double oh nice double I think you just go for a bolt strike here what do you think or no too greedy no, 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 no. There's only one guy coming dude. in. Both dude, come on. Dude, there's only one guy That's coming in. That's what I'm in, saying, bro. dude. Why don't you just bull strike? Dude, if he if he went glide score there, he's Jesus. He's Jesus. <laughs> if he goes glide score, just accept that he's Jesus. If he goes glide score. Yeah. Okay, well you're walled by this. So I would just burn this as toxic effects. Okay, that's a bad oh, play. Bad by, play bad that's play. a bad play by Scarlet. Go Victini. Go dude. Victini. Dude, you're making every bad play. Dude, he's play, making really brother. bad play. Dude, he's he's he's. Dude, that Victini there is the freest Victini ever. See, because now this is back at 88. He's scooping all momentum. Dude, terrible. So he basically he got Chomp toxic for nothing. Now this U-turn isn't even good. Cause here he leeches for free. Okay. Or SDs actually. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is what Scarf is what I would expect. Yeah, he knows this is not Z because Chomp has to be Z Dragonia. Bro, use your Mawile, bro. You have a spike up. The Sizz is at 60. It's at 57 with hazards up. Like, this is... Dude, no, oh, bro. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. He's positioning where V create... What? What? No, no bro, he's not... He's, 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 I, I don't understand what he's doing. Dude, that's where you V create. I don't understand, bro. He's going to go into Maw here and take a goob attack. Dude, 
Dude, this guy's fucking up. Protect this. Dude, this is really this is really weird. I okay, maybe he just wanted the defense drop, but this is I don't know. I feel like he just got shit chipped. Yeah, he's got goop chip. Okay, now oh, long. now the deep block comes in. Okay, so this is how he wanted to block the hazards. Fair. He's not blocking hazards. He just defogged in trade. He didn't defog. Oh, no. SD. This he's should win. Taken. Like, this should win. Oh, SD? Yeah. SD again. again. This should just you auto goobs. This doesn't even oh, kill. This doesn't even kill. This doesn't even kill. What doesn't even kill? EQ doesn't even kill this. No way. Okay. Well, he outplayed him and sucker punched him. Owned his life. Oh, it's, over. it's over now. 6-0? 6-0 is crazy. Damn. That's for fucking Dude, Look ass, at his shit bro. team, though. His shit team can't even beat Maw. Can't beat a CB Vic. Yeah. Dude, I'm surprised. Just, dude, this is Gen 7. Kill. Just bring spikes and some offense and you'll win. Don't bring this dumbass yeah. Reuniclus Bulu fake fusion. Yeah, literally. Just bring offense and you'll win with spike one spike up. That was a crazy fast series. I enjoyed that one. Bottom played so passive, bro. Very up and down games. That's gonna be that. Looks like uh, Dosmer says GG because there's really no way to escape from this incoming ass clap. Yeah, this is a super ass clap. Uh, this is a Z or yeah, this is the Z. Yeah. The Z doesn't even kill. He can always knock off. Yep. Oh wait, 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 wait. But this. Why do you say GG and keep playing? <laughs> Who the fuck says GG's and keeps playing? It's called the fucking heart of a warrior, you bastard. No, then don't say GG. No, bitch. bitch. You wouldn't get it. The heart of a warrior is just that. The heart of a warrior. Yeah, I would keep playing. I would never forfeit, but I wouldn't say GG's mid fucking game. Neither would I. Yo. I would say GG, and then I would send somebody to blow up their router. Look, look. V-Create here, right? Hard switch to Pharaoh. Get all of them up. There's no hard switch. Right, it's no. gonna take okay, the. He's, he's gonna sack like four mons into winning this game. It's gonna take forever. I guarantee it. Dude, there's a Pharaoh thorn that gets all of them. <laughs> no, he wants to take the. He wants to take the plus four superpower first. <laughs> Wait a minute. Reuniclus can potentially do it. Reuniclus lives banded V create. Oh wait, but there's Maul and V. There's Maul and the joint, so you're goobed. You can't kill, you can't beat everybody. Also, it could be punishment landris or explosion. Either way, you're yeah. fucked. Also, there's SD Chomp. There's yeah, like this is this is very this is very not P. Who Drake's oh, there? My God, worst the Drake, most, most likely the worst Drake of all time. Vic killing nobody so far though is damn impressive. I must say. Yeah. Go Maul here on some G shit. Yup. On think, some G think shit. Think superpower still kills. Yup. On some G shit. He's gonna Dude, this is unlosable. Again. He's preserving 6 0. That's what he's doing. No, he really thinks that he can lose. I think he's like scared. He's preserving. Oh, Gib going into Moa. Damn. Oh, that was a crazy double to Moa. Ass blast. Oh, Schmix. Yo. I think this was definitely winnable, winnable for both sides, but I think Scarlet's matchup is definitely better. But also, oh, the hell all them create. bitches he are up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You thinking this can win? He has to hard out. Yep. Okay, good, good, good. Now I can't win. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, burn though? Oh, it has gyro too. Dude, just go Rotom and Volt Switch. He heard you. Yeah. He heard you in his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spam Willow until you die. Finally. Oh, just Volt. Okay. Just troll. No, no, he wants to get his HP alone. Why did he say GG's and then play another 86 turns, dude? Yeah, that's crazy. You just go back into Rotom. Or you go Vic like a boss. I'm, not I'm just See, that, that's why I said that's why I said willow till you die because now you can let him horn leech more HP. No, it's okay. You will load it's faster. Oh, it's faster. Finally, the forfeit. Finally, the dude, the GG's into I'm still struggling. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed. Cool two series. Big shout outs to Starfire Scarlet for winning Yo, both Starfire series. Scarlet? He packed them up in fucking one sitting, bro. I'm telling you, we six games, he cranked it out. Life. Yeah, that's that's respect. Game, no, four games, actually six games. Six yeah, games. I cranked it out. Cranked On out six to games. The, uh, now he will play the first seed.
as seed Ooh. 16 in the Yo, actual he playoffs. He is Jimmy Butler. I'm, I'm rooting for Starfire. Yeah, Star me right too. Now. Me too. This is Beast. Hope y'all enjoyed. Drop a big like if you did. Let me know if you want to see more Smogon Tour tournament coverage. And we'll see y'all soon. Peace.